Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, go Yo, yo, what's good, what's good, what's good? Homewood in a building. Road boy for life. 412 forever, 15208. Holla at your boy. Alright, let's jump right into this, y'all. Sorry it took me so long to come out with another video, but been busy. We have a lot of stuff going on in our lives. We're trying to get prepared for our wedding in June. I mean, July. Ooh, I'm off. I'm on one, y'all. In July. Uh, so, yeah, we've been very busy. Um, trying to get everything together. Menus, venues, people, wedding party, all of that. So, thank y'all for being patient with me. Sticking in there. And for the new subscribers that subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Bless you. Appreciate you. But this is my topic for the day, y'all. Cashless supermarkets. Amazon is taking over. They are taking over. Everything is automatic. It's going cashless. As y'all can see right here in the video, this is a, a shopping cart. Everything is on it. I don't actually know what it does. So when I found out, you find out. We both find out together. So let's go. Let's see what this is. I think this is that uh, Instacart thing. I'm not sure. But let me, let's me let see. What's going on? Rich Jamiro here, Rich on Tech. This is the new Amazon Dash Cart that is at the Amazon Fresh Store in Woodland Hills. This is a really cool piece of technology because it allows you to self-check out as you shop in the store so you can see they've got some cameras and lights to recognize what you put in there they give you a few bags and it also has a um, weight sensor in there so you can put in stuff like produce and this is your screen that will tell you what you've just put in the cart that little place for your drink and also your alexa shopping list so that makes it easy to add stuff at home and then find it in the store and this is where you scan your phone to get started so here's how it works you find something on the shelf, and by the way, all of the uh, price tags at this store are um, digital, which is really cool. So there's the store. Um, so let's say we want to buy some tuna fish, and you put it into the cart. Oh, it already found it. You see that? So these cameras are pretty good at seeing stuff very quickly. Well, hey, did y'all see that? He just, everything in the store is digital. Like, he just picked it up and scanned it over the cart, and it, uh... It found it, but how do you pay for all that though? I don't. That's kind of, in a way that's kind of neat. In a way, it's not because it takes away from you know it takes away from people's jobs. Uh, regular cashiers, you know they. That's their job. They're cashiers. They they put up with all types of people's attitudes, uh, smells, just all types of stuff. Uh, trust me, because when something's wrong and I go to the store, I give them attitude. But to uh, have whole stores straight automated, no cashiers, no nothing, what is people supposed to do? And then they wonder why crime is high and the economy is crashing. It's, boy, mm. but let's get back into it. And you just put it in there, and boom, you've got it. So it says one, two dollars fifty nine cents, and I've got a little running subtotal of what I'm purchasing, which is really cool. There's your meats over there, some seafood there, and let's try something else because now at this store there's a mix of uh, traditional brands and also organic stuff, and a lot of Amazon products as well. So something like this donut cafe. So this is and so all I just Amazon. put this, this here. Oh, wait, I already found it. Thing. You hear that little Look sound? That. And we should try taking something out of the cart and seeing what happens then. So here's some cereals. Let's try Got that cereal. mini frosted wheats. So put these $3.64. And there it goes. 
Where it's is almost this too fast. Though? That it's, looked it's, like whole recognizes food. recognizes these things very quickly. So now let's say, okay, you know what? I decided, oop, I'm not gonna get these. Let's see what happens. So if I take this out of the cart, it now says, oh, quantity wow. one removed. He took it out and again, the cart and it again, one of the neatest things about this is that you've got this subtotal that it here removed. that lets you see exactly how much you're spending as you go through the store. So if you're anything like me and you're spending a lot uh, more than you think sometimes when you go into the store, this will help you stay on task. So a couple other looks at this store. They've got, uh, it's kind of like a mix of a Whole Foods and a traditional grocery store. So you've got your regular brands here. And again, like I said, you've got a lot of Amazon brands. So right next to the bubbly, you've got the Happy Belly Lime Sparkling Water. And of course, you've got the Coke brands. You've got 365 brands, so a lot of those as well. And let's see. This kind of reminds me of a dairy case at a Whole Foods. And some other things that are interesting is in this Woodland Hills store, they do have um, beer and wine. So, or, and alcohol, I guess I should say too. And I'm now going the wrong way, so I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna back in here. And let's see what happens now if you try to buy some liquor, because this is something, well, this has like a security thing on it, so I don't think that would work. So let's see what happens when we put this in here. Age restricted, ID will be checked at the dash cart lane. Okay, well, I'm gonna take that out, so put that in there and I'm gonna take this out see if it notices yep okay so removed done so big selection there and also ask Alexa they've got a whole uh, whole bunch of these Alexa devices around the store so you can ask questions and another big thing about this it's bad enough Alexa is in your house, but did y'all ever notice when y'all be talking, Alexa picks up on what you're talking about because she's nebby as hell. She's nosy as fuck. She's nosy. She's nosy. And they got her in grocery stores now. <laughs> hey, there's some real people back there. Y'all see them behind the deli counter? All right. So... Shout out to uh, Rich on Tech, at Rich on Tech, you know, for putting this video out there, letting the world know, so I can get it and bring it to y'all, and y'all can know about it. So let's get back into it. This place is the prepared foods, so they've got a full deli, sandwiches, stuff you can just kind of grab and go, all from Amazon Kitchen, made here. $5.99 for a sandwich. And let me give you a better look at this cart right there. So this is it's pretty, pretty hefty cart. You can't take these out of the store, by the way. And there's hygiene stations everywhere. Another thing they advertise pizza for a buck seventy-nine. Fresh baked bread. I saw bread for eighty-nine cents. There it is. Hey, this what do you think store. of this thing? Looks Pretty like cool, it's huh? a cross between no. Walmart, Whole Foods, uh -oh. and Giant Eagles. Uh, French bread, 89 cents. Oh, Giant Eagles. Giant Eagles. Let's see, how would it recognize bread? This doesn't... Did y'all hear me? Just in case that video was a little bit too loud. This food, I mean, this food. Woo, told y'all I'm on one. This store looks like a cross between Walmart, Whole Foods, Market District, and Giant Eagles. Even though Market District and Giant Eagles is the same thing, but they're classified as separate. So yeah, that's what that store looked like. Got a bunch of Amazon stuff in it. That's cool. That's cool. My baby just left out the room, y'all. She's so sexy. Does this have, oh it does, okay. So it does have a thing on it. Let's see, ready? Okay. It's too fast. You're too fast, cart. $8 and, no, $9.47. 
And then, oh yeah, there is one more thing to show you. Over here, they do have a selection of wow, some Amazon, Amazon items. Uh, so they call it the uh, best of Amazon up there. And so there are just a couple things, not a whole lot of stuff, Amazon but they do have all section. the Amazon devices out. for sale here too. So you can get those drinks galore. And with this, you can just, oh, they've got pickup as well. So if you wanna pick up stuff from your oh, Amazon so account. Check out. And here are the checkout lanes. So you can use a traditional cashier or this is the dash lane right here. So here's the dash lane. And all you have to do for the dash lane is literally, once you bring this into that green area, it's going to check you out, send a receipt to your email, and you are done. Pretty cool stuff. All right, thanks so much for watching. Rich Demiro here, richontech.tv. If you have any questions about this Amazon Fresh store, leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. I've been spending all morning here. See you later. All right, y'all. So that's my take on the uh, Amazon automated store. But what y'all think? Would y'all shop there? I would probably do it. We would probably do it just to see how it goes, just to see how it is. Um, let me know if y'all would do it. Just uh, let me know down in the comments below what y'all think about this. And let me know if y'all would shop there. Which y'all, which y'all can see, which y'all make it. A favorite store yours or has anybody already did it already if anybody has already did it let me know in the comments how you felt about it and was it the items too expensive but before we go make sure y'all hit that subscribe button hit that like button give me that thumbs up hit that bell notification so y'all will know when I come on and give y'all something new like I say before, new to me, old to you. Maybe old to you, but new to me. If it's new to me, I bring it to you. So if it's new to both of us, we both find out at the same time. But when I find out, I bring it to you. So make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. Tell your mother. Tell your brother. Tell your daddy. Tell your aunts, uncles, nieces, nephews, cousins. Even a little baby in the stroller. Take his little finger and hit that subscribe button. But check it out, y'all. Y'all see the uh, Spider-Man T? Another Nador Productions. Masterpiece right here. So, let me know what y'all think about this. Drop that comment in the comment section. Let me know. And on that note, love y'all. Peace. Stay blessed. Huh? How long was that video? Well, the video was like six minutes. How long was yours? About 12 minutes. <laughs>